Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to the channel. Today I am going to cover another topic for English that is role of food processing industry in Indian agriculture. So this is the topic that I am going to pick up today, role of food processing industry in Indian agriculture. This topic is specifically important for the upcoming RBI, NABARD as well as SEBI examinations phase 2 English section. A lot of students feel that they can cover English towards the end. They can write any kind of answer in essay and they can get through with it. But that is not true. So we need to prepare regularly English and we also need to analyze our performance on a regular basis and understand how to write English essays. So let us start with the coverage of how to write this particular topic and what all things to be included. The topic as I said role of food processing industry, role of food processing industry in Indian agriculture. So what we do is we try and find out the keywords first. Number one food processing industry, number two Indian agriculture and number three role. What is the meaning of role? Role means importance. Although importance is a longer word but it helps us understand what we have to write. Food processing industry is the first keyword and second is Indian agriculture. So if we break it down, we can say in simple terms is what we can say is how is food processing industry important for Indian agriculture. So that is what we have to write on. Now the introduction that we have is going to focus on two things and in every essay that I discuss with you, I do the same thing. So that's the structure that we have created in our mind. First of all, we will define one of the keywords which is the most important one. And secondly, we, we define or we explain how these keywords are connected or how one is important for the other. How one is important for the other. Okay. So here, first of all, we define food processing industry, which has been done here. Food processing industry is basically transformation in layman terms. If you see a packet of Lay's, that's part of food processing industry. If you see a packet of jam, that is a part of food processing industry. So food processing technically uh, or in layman terms sorry means transformation of agricultural products into food or into converting one of one form of food into another one form of food let's say tomatoes into another form let's say ketchup so that is food processing so there are broadly two types of fo processed foods primary and value added processed foods primary processed foods are those which do not change their form let's say you get a packet of fruits so instead of selling you just open fruits you're getting a packet of fruits uh, you're getting packed milk so you're not changing the form of milk but if you are adding certain value to that food like jam or ketchup then you are uh, talking about value added processed food okay so the first work is to identify the keywords and to define those keywords you don't need to define agriculture it's very well understood okay so you define what is food processing industry and then you say how food processing industry is important to Indian agriculture major contribution of food processing industry to Indian agriculture so instead of because in the entire body also you must be thinking that you're going to write uh, the importance of food processing to Indian agriculture only so you identify on a broad scale okay what can be the importance or how can food processing contribute to Indian agriculture okay the major contribution is it helps in increasing farmers income whatever we are doing about food processing whatever jargons whatever policies we are making what is the focus the focus is on improving farmers income so that the suicides rate reduce the wastage of food reduces and in turn the farmer uh, makes more money the economy the country makes more money and is more prosperous so two main purposes doubling farmers income enhancing growth of India so think from a very layman perspective and identify okay what can be done or why are we doing this we are doing all this interconnection between food processing and agriculture in order to double farmers income in order to uh, probably double or triple our economy that's the primary purpose so you put that down or define that or mention that in the introduction okay and then you get specific so this is called as uh, you know, this is like a filter. So you first of all uh, stay very generic in nature. So this is the zone of genericness and then you get specific as you move forward with the body. So as you move forward and talk about the body, you get more and more specific. So in the body, you define specific terms 
importance and role of food processing industry in Indian agriculture. So the first uh, point is which defines importance and role of food processing. Number one, avoiding loss due to excess supply. Okay. For example, very simple example, tomatoes. Let's say the annual consumption of tomatoes in India is let's say 100 tons. Okay. Let's keep it simple. Let's say 100 tons. But the production this year is let's say 175 tons. So the production is a lot more than the annual production or than the annual sorry consumption. So what do we do with this 75 tons because tomatoes uh, rot very fast. Uh, they are perishable products, we convert them into uh, ketchup. If we can convert it into ketchup, the lifespan increases, it survives for another year or probably uh, for another two years, it stays on the shelf, it is not wasted right away. So it avoids loss due to excess supply and this avoidance also provides money to the farmer because now the, mon the farmer does not have to throw away these 75 tons he can sell it to a food processor who can process it, manufacture it, sell it to the consumer in the form of a ketchup. Okay, So it's a win-win situation for everybody, less wastage, more income for the farmer, more income for the economy, as well as a creation of another industry which is food processing industry. That's the meaning of avoiding loss due to excess supply, that's what you write in the first point. The second one is forward linkage with manufacturing. So how food processing is important is, let's say this is food processing FP and uh, this is the backward linkage that we have. If we go backward, so the backward linkage is with agriculture AGRI and the forward linkage is with, uh, if we go forward, the forward linkage is with manufacturing. So with manufacturing, you have the forward linkage. So food processing is the linking pin which connects agriculture to manufacturing. That's how it becomes important. So it has forward linkages with manufacturing and it also has backward linkage with agriculture. So it promotes linking agriculture and manufacturing and creating a synergy between agri and manufacturing sector which is not present at the moment in India. Agriculture is isolated from manufacturing. These two are just like two sides of the same coin which cannot, which it, they do not have to be. The third one is employment. That is very obvious. It generates more employment and how does it do so? By absorbing one of them, by absorbing disguised unemployed farmers. So a lot of farmers who should not be working on the field because they're not required there, do it just because they do not have anything else to do. Okay. So these are the major points for this page. Let's come to some more points. This industry ensures better prices for farmers and therefore control food inflation and food security. Food security, I told you, wastage is reduced that automatically increases food security. Food inflation, why? If there is less supply of food at times, because of wastage, because of wastage or because things cannot be stored, let's say onion, why does the price spike at certain points of time in a year? Because there is less availability and there are other times when the onions are oversupplied in the market, but they rot and they're thrown away. If we could secure them, if we could transform them or if we could store them in a better manner, then this food inflation will not occur. Okay, so those are the major advantages and this can also be a point one. Why? Because you're giving, if you're giving RBI exam, this can be a point one because there you're striking on what RBI does or what RBI's major responsibilities are. If you're talking about NABARD examination, which is coming up, then this can be, this can stay like a point four, point one, two and three could be the one which I've been mentioned above. For SEBI also, this could be a point one. Okay, the industry earns a lot of foreign exchange through exports. So this is very obvious, but it, a lot of times missed by students. If your agriculture is prosperous, if your food process processing is uh, working simultaneously with agriculture, you could export a lot of products which are not exported at the present point of time. For example, mangoes. We export a lot of mangoes everywhere to European countries, but a lot of them are rejected and come back because of the quality checks, strict quality checks that they have. What if we could process these mangoes and then sell them and ensure that those quality checks are done before they are being exported and they are being processed and canned and a certain amount of quality, certain standards of quality are complied with before they're exported. That would increase our exports of mangoes and that would also increase the value of export. 
instead of spending sending raw mangoes uh, you're sending tinned or canned mangoes or probably some or the other product processed product of mangoes whose value is much higher it is contributing towards providing healthy wholesome food to the masses okay so what it does is by uh, providing food security and by adding value to by adding value to that product let's say mangoes itself you are also adding certain nutrition in the in the product in the agricultural product and through that you are increasing the health of uh, let's say kids or women who are consuming those products backward linkages already explained uh, due to changing lifestyles increasing disposable income and working couples are more advantages because they are demanding processed foods because they don't have that much time now there are some statistics about the industry and the major ones have been highlighted number 100% fdi under automatic route is already allowed in food processing industries that is a positive step that the government has already taken and a negative fact is that only less than 10% of total food produced in india is processed into value added products in india majority of it is sold as it is in comparison us processes 65% of its produce okay so that is something that that needs to be uh, realized that we can process a lot more now one major uh, negative that i have not mentioned here and that surprisingly is not uh, a part of discussion at all is the impact on environment of food processing the impact on environment this is just for knowledge you can write it you can skip it out but i th- thought i should discuss it the impact on environment and by that i mean the impact because of the plastic that is being generated by processed food look at lays although yes you are getting to eat a processed food in terms of uh, you know uh, baked or fried potatoes uh, which although they are not good but they are tasty but at the same time the plastic that is generated through it through that processed food is very harmful for the environment so we have to try and change our mindset and follow blindly follow not blindly follow uh, what the americans or what the europeans have done in the past because that is a major shortfall or that is a major problem with processed food it generates a lot of plastic hell lot of plastic so let's try and focus on eating things which are natural which are uh, uh, you know not not uh, covered or not uh, packed uh, without the need to be packed uh, because that is not the norm anymore it used to be the norm when uh, in the 1960s and 70s when we were not thinking about the harmful impacts of plastic but not anymore so that can be mentioned by you that can create an impact in your essay as well so although food processing has a big role to play in agriculture but it also has a negative role or negative impact on the environment so if the question is uh, more broad it demands that you bring out something like this you can okay i hope you understood that now there are certain spe- schemes under pradhan mantri kisan sampada yojana which is the umbrella scheme for food processing you can go through them as well i have just explained them here so you can read to, uh, re- read these a lot of these i have already discussed in the video above forward and fa- uh, forward and backward linkages human resources food safety and quality assurance so all these i have already discussed above but you can go through them if you want to okay uh, i hope you like this lesson uh, if you did then do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get regular notifications uh, and that also motivates me to create a lot more videos for you which are going to help you in the upcoming examinations all the very best take care